Check out these awesome targets that I actually got by accident more than anything. I was making an order at Canada Ammo and needed to spend an extra $20 to get the free shipping. I said, oh, okay, I'll get some of their zombie targets. And I just expected, you know, you get the regular same size targets you buy at any gun store or shooting store. And look at the size of these things. They're huge. They're like a full poster size. And, uh, you know, if you, they're actually, you know, if I put my face, they're almost like life size. You know, this one's probably uh, like a one half scale, but you talk about a really awesome big target. I got, uh, I got my 30-06 rifles out here today. I'm at the 100 yard range. So I'm gonna try popping off some zombie heads at 100 yards. And these are some really awesome, awesome. I totally caught me off guard by surprise. I didn't expect them to be this big at all. Uh, very cool targets. If you're unsure of them or if you've seen them like I was, order a few. They're friggin' awesome. And uh, you know, it's even, even at the pistol base, you know, having something that size to shoot at is pretty fun. It's better than most any targets. And I think they're right around a uh, dollar a piece, maybe a little more than that, I'll have to check. Um, but uh, you know, for the price, it's a pretty sweet target. Here I am with my Savage Axis 30-06. Um, I haven't done many hunting rifles, but uh, I, when I do a lot of shopping, you know, Canadian Tire and the local gun stores, these Savage Axis just, you know, dominate the shelves. You see these everywhere in every caliber. And I've always been curious how well they shoot, you know, how, how good they are. And uh, so I've, I've recently purchased a few cheap hunting rif rifles, and I'm going to be doing some uh, budget hunting supplies type reviews. So my first one is with my Savage Axis. I just put this on, I have no idea if it's sighted in or not, so I'm going to fire a few rounds. I got some Winchester 180 grain, um, 30 out 6, so I'm going to take some shots here, try to sight the thing in, and then I'll tell you a little more about it. So they have a detachable box magazine, which uh, seems like it's pretty good construction. Um, it's uh, metal walls on it, plastic base, so you know anything that's plastic, you gotta be careful. It can snap and break off pretty easily. Uh, let's see how many. One, two, three. Double stack magazine. Four. It looks like four plus probably one in the chamber if you want to go that route. But we'll put the four in. Doesn't fit in there that great. Let's try that again. Oh yeah, that's a tight squeeze. Come on, baby. I wonder with the bolt open if it actually fits better. Oh yeah, there's way less pressure now. There, so that fits in snugly. So, full magazine with a closed bolt. Mm. Maybe uh, after I use it a little bit, the spring will uh, go down a little bit after time. So construction of the bolt's pretty nice. It's got the Savage um, brand on the front of it. And uh, you know, it's got a good uh, metal knob on it, which is awesome. Some of these, uh, the, the knob, the bolt, can have a lot of plastic bits, which is not good. And this one actually has a pretty sturdy type bolt. So let's give it the first shot and see what happens. Don't forget the ears. These things are pretty loud. All right, so 100 yards, I got some, some targets down there. I'm gonna see if it's even on the paper. Safety, nice safety on it. Plastic toggle safety, I mean, it's nothing special. Certainly feels like it could break off there pretty easy. Um, and it's just like this little sliding piece of plastic. The grip for your thumb's real nice. There's certainly lots of uh, resistance there and you can definitely get a good grip on it. Not too loud. If you're in the woods in the dead of quiet and you're worried about scaring off a deer, it's pretty good. I think you'd be safe. Here goes nothing. <laughs> the scope is horrible. Don't ever waste money on a poor scope. Unless you don't have any more money to spend, which I guess is kind of the point of this. but. All right, I got a zombie down there. I'm gonna aim center mass and see what happens. Well, that is a hard trigger, holy smokes. That takes, I'm not sure what the pounds would be for the pole, but man, that takes a lot of pressure. I saw the dust go up behind it.
Yeah, that makes a lot of noise. I finally ran through seven shots. I think I got the scope. What's happened now, and it might be just the way that the, the scope is set up. See, these things actually have, um, the points for your scope mounts are a long ways apart and I actually got this Picatinny rail to sit on top and uh, so I think I might be getting some scope flex or I've done something with the big, this, this scope is probably not meant for a big bore. So now what's happening is I'm actually getting, uh, I can either focus on the crosshairs or I can focus on the distance, the, the target. I can't see both at the same time so I gotta kind of get my target and then change my focus so I can see the crosshairs and, and like kind of change back and forth between the two. Anyways, I'm pretty sure I got it close now. It certainly has a lot of recoil. Uh, you know, most of these hunting guns are all a light barrel. You know, they try to make these as light as they can with the with the polymer stocks on them. And you know, overall, this, this is no problem to walk through the woods with this thing. It weighs hardly anything. I'm not sure exactly what, but I will weigh it when I get home. And that's the weight right there. Not bad. So when I do my other cheap hunting rifle reviews, we'll check the weight too. Because there's one thing I hate doing, and it's walking through the woods with a really heavy gun. I like that. Very nice action. All right, that's enough of that. So I'm actually pretty impressed. I went up there, I checked the target again, and the grouping moved quite a bit closer to where I was aiming. So I said, you know what, forget it. I got, I got two rounds left. I'll go through half the box. And uh, I really think this time I'm gonna be able to get a headshot. <laughs> and after all this work and anguish, uh, I'm gonna make one more adjustment to the scope, fire my last two rounds. And let's see. It's weird, I almost have to kind of like try to focus between both at the same time to get that sight picture. I'd say I broke the tube or bent the tube or something inside, but this thing's going right in the garbage as soon as I get home anyways. All right, for all the marbles. All right. I'll go down there and set up the camera and you can see how I did. Here it is, you can see I got it marked off. Here's the first group. You know, this is just a Sharpie. You know, it's the length of a Sharpie, 100 yards. This one's also even less than that, the second grouping. And you can see when I came up for the second grouping why I wanted to try one more group, the last two shots, which were right here. And this one, look. That's close enough, I'm gonna call that my kill shot. It took me forever to try to get one thing close to his head and I think that's pretty good. So, uh, once again, you know, the length of a Sharpie. So what's that, three inches? So you can give a three inch group. So, uh, you know. Temple, right in the temple, we'll call that the temple. I feel like a classroom, I'm drawing as I'm talking. But uh, anyways, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, the groups are definitely solid, small little groups for 100 yards. If you were aiming at a decent sized animal, you wouldn't have any trouble hitting it, especially with a good scope that you know is sighted in properly and that you can get a good sight picture on. So let's go back and uh, we'll finish up with the gun. So would I recommend this gun for, for hunting? Absolutely. I mean, if this is the only thing you, if you only have enough money for a $400 gun, this will certainly do the trick for you. Uh, I can put out some pretty good groups with a really awful scope and uh, and you know I'm sure if you put some decent glass on it especially something that's made for uh, a high caliber rifle you get a lot better groups than I did so uh, so yeah Savage Axis 30-06 you want one of these these are these are a really really good rifle for the money and uh, we'll see how it compares to the next rifle I'm going to do uh, in this series of cheap hunting rifles